Hey, welcome back everybody. Travis here, Stevens Truck Power. Uh, if you're having heating problems and uh, either it's just heating a little bit or you've tried everything and you can't get it to quit heating, let me show you what probably 80% of the time your problem is. Um, radiators on trucks, they get plugged up with stuff. A lot of hay leaves in there, a lot of dirt in there. Um, Reason being, obviously, is because we've got an air-to-air -air that sits here that's off right now. And I'll tell you why we did that. And then an AC condenser in front of that. And there's just no room for airflow. Stuff gets sucked up in there like a vacuum and gets stuck. Um, this is a common thing. We do this all the time. And if someone says they washed their radiator out, if they didn't at least take it apart and use a steam cleaner, they didn't do it right. Um, a garden hose does not work. Compressed air does not work. You have to separate it, okay? Or you'll never get the stuff out of it. And so if you're constantly just spraying at it, thinking, well, that can't be it because I've sprayed it out, uh, you're mistaken because this one has been blown out with air and a garden hose, and you can see still what we got there on the front of it. So what we do is we take it apart. Um, while we got the air to air off, we will pressurize it, but we'll steam through it also. So here's the air to air. You can see where the AC condenser was. And of course, the AC condenser looks just like the front of that radiator. So and we'll steam through this and show you all the stuff that comes out. But while you got it off, it's a good idea to pressure test it. Um, just make sure it doesn't have a hole in it. Um, especially if you're low on boost, and you know, low boost will cause it to heat a little bit too. So if you're about 10 pounds low on boost, you're probably going to run a little bit warm on your water. Now, when I say truck heating up i'm not talking extreme i'm just talking you know you can't keep it cool on the hill it runs on the flats hotter than it ought to um, this is by far the most common thing for your problem so we'll get the steam cleaner fired up i'll show you what i'm talking about and uh, hopefully you can do it on your rig and uh, keep you cool going down the road hang tight all right got the steam cleaner here <clears throat> this is for video purposes because normally i would just pressure check this first because if it's bad, there's no point in steaming it out. But I just want to show you what gets stuck in here because you know 90% of the time they are not bad. But we'll just start here and you don't want to bend the fins over, but you can give it a good powerful pressure wash, just stay straight. Look at the look at the water on the back of that. That's after it's been washed with a hose and compressed. mud come out of that not just hay leaf mud crud done you got to do this about once a year if not once every other year um, you're gonna have heating problems <clears throat> so you've seen that and now let me show you the radiator I'm gonna spray both directions it's kind of hard to get through the fan side but you get what you can then you climb up in the hood and spray through but I'm just gonna spray through the fan side and film here and you can kind of see the crud coming out and it's not just hay leaves I mean you think hay leaves and straw will blow right out of there, but it is caked in with mud and dirt, and you'll see as we... that was visible in the camera because it is absolutely filthy so I have no doubt we're gonna help this guy out a ton um, just uh, 
hey watch the video and, and follow along because this is going to save you a lot of grief uh, up and down the road uh, going to save you putting tons of thermostats in and all kinds of stuff uh, very common problem that no one seems to catch all right so the best way to do this is get up in the hood we've got the hood lower clear over and we got it on a barrel with a wood block and you just stay out of the grill okay, so you don't smash the grill stay up here where it's supported and then you just get your steam cleaner and start spraying this one is really dirty it's going to take me a long time but basically you just start off easy and go for it Look at the bug. It's not even going clear through. It's coming back out. Been steaming on this for a while this one's pretty dirty but basically just have a buddy watch as you spray through it and you know you'll see that clear water's coming out or dirt and you just keep going until you know you're not getting any more dirt out and button her all back up guarantee you it's gonna keep you from heating up on those hills quite so bad definitely got to have the airflow uh, you just can't run without airflow thanks for watching